everybody. This is going to be day four of Shadow of Over. Just start a little game called Call of Cthulhu. Um, obviously Lovecraftian. Um, because I mean, you know. Oh, flip. Uh, what game that has it? It has Cthulhu isn't Lovecraftian. Um, oh, sorry guys, my head's a uh, little fish off at the moment. Um, so, uh, trying to remember what the bio of this game said. Uh, from what I can remember, you, you, you play as a police officer who goes to this this place, um, can't remember where it's called, um, and yeah, you, you, you basically find a bunch of crimes and stuff and you get dragged into it. Um, the, the, there is actually a monster, your choices do determine as well the ending of the game. Um, because depending on choices and stuff you make depends on if you go crazy what I can recall. Um, and of course there's no obvious sort of uh, sort of options. You know, like Dragon Age where they say choose this for the romance option etc. Now with this, uh, you, you, yeah you gotta kind of make it up as you go. Um, so let's get a start on this and see what you guys think. It might even turn out to be a two-parter. Because you know who doesn't want to start a game with it looking like that? Let's uh, check all the graphics. As bright as it goes. Subtitles are on. I don't know what the detection is. Awesome. So let's get started. As you can see, I have played it once before. But it uh, was quite a fair while ago. You know, two years ago. And I can't remember. You know. Although, looking from the, uh, the graphics, what we can see on the right here, definitely reminds me of the Sinking City. You know? Let's see. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. So, yeah, I I, I, I don't know why he uh, let himself go that way. But apparently, you know, we're kind of uh, stuck in depression right now. Yeah, we want something that's going to bring life back to us. And obviously, finding a case will also make us not lose our license. Oh, and hopefully this will also wake me up a bit. It's kind of slept late, you know. Okay, anything like that. I am mad. It is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. Hmm. I mean, I don't think I'm crazy. There we go. Come on, dude. We're sitting in water. We can wash our hands off. Started off in an interesting place. Oh, 
yeah, this is totally a place we want to be. Oh, wow, that is some good filleting. Why do they look metal, though? Fish don't have metal. So. Oh. Yeah, we ain't going that way. I have a candle, though. That's a jumble of wax. Okay. I have a torch! Is, of course. Let's see what's down here. See, I would have given you guys more description for the game, um, but like I said, I couldn't remember what it was about, um, other than what my memory was serving. And um, yeah, it's it sometimes it's good to go in blind, especially if you're doing horror games. You know, get our idea of what we're meant to be doing. In my wake, hold along. Fate inescapably draws you on. Okay. Got some creepy guy talking to us, apparently. So, from what I can recall, there what are actually monsters in here that we have to fight. I don't want to be chosen. No, you can you can do your own thing. Behold. Everything has already been written. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Oh my god, it's what's his face from uh Pirates Caribbean. No, his tentacle face. Can't remember his name. Maybe Jones. No, not Dave Jones. I hate whiskey. Why drink it, you numbskull? You're the one who drank it. Sorry guys, I'm just making sure my Twitch is working okay. I wonder why I still take these things. Doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to nightmares. But for a while now they're affected from wearing off. Well that's because your body is used to them. You're kind of a you're mixing it with alcohol. I used to be an avid reader. Hey, let's play with the draw for a bit. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. They did, they would have fired us. Married woman did. runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Natural sciences, linguistics, right. archaeology. I should get rid of all this stuff. Wow, that's a lot of uh, stuff. I don't know what the hell we were meant to be investigating there. Shut it off. Don't need Twitch for commuting my audio just because you want to play music. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. 
when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. That's just... Yeah, no, I don't like that sort of uh, unscrupulousness. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I hear voices in my dreams, but they're different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is called? Don't drink. Wait, we're gonna stay nice and sober. Okay, so it's just this now. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce, private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. What of it? Are you Glenda? Oh, Lord, Lucy. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it looks like it's kept stuff from my previous playthrough. Interesting. I was not worried where it did this. Okay, so what have I got anyway? Do I even have any points? Oh, I have eight. Okay. So... Okay, I'm gonna choose eloquence there. Uh, what's this? I'm assuming it's following from my previous save because. Um. Let's put two points there. There, let's do that. Hmm. There we go. I think that's like good. Yeah, let's start that way. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? Sure, whatever. As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Maybe it'll not be Work enough food? Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of Job's the Wentworth a job. Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming! <laughs> oh, he's carrying a box. You know, he could have opened the door himself, Sir, right? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Me too. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, nope. industrialist and art collector. All of Boston. Oh, at least you know. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, uh, inebriate, I think. Desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins, the painter. No, nope, not a clue. Yes. 
Everyone knows her work. The she didn't make out like her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no Well, proof, I mean, if she was mad... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Dude, you don't want my assumptions. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. It is. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? A painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay. Right. A warehouse on Darkwater. First. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Which probably says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the home family. Police decide on a domestic accident. But they never the less insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? Okay. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. Not really much to go on, so the police aren't saying that she's mad. Oh, there What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Um. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's first. right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think so your daughter that you find could out have been as well, it unlocks That uh, is what you must find chat out. Chat options as you Go saw. to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. So as you can see, it unlocked this. So I'm going to You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic mm. figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life. And death. Okay. Let's go with the, the unlocked answer then. Could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a oh, short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Dark water holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Righto. Let's, uh. Her husband was a big deal on the island. Police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this Got case than just an accident. I 
I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. Awesome. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something really? Spider. I could refuse you. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Learning of medicine. Okay, so if we, because of screen, I feel like it's going to give us points for that. Yeah, see? Progression. Awesome. I used to be an avid reader. Dude, I'm looking for books. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. I don't know the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. The gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, Still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of this small land off the coasts of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Let's go then. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. To the boats! Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. It's the only clue she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Right then. Sweet! I'm not too fond of our character right now. I mean, he is, uh, you know, a bit of an alcoholic abuser of substances, you know? I am very disapproving of that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I know it's how some people cope. I get that, you know? And sometimes they do feel like that is their only option. But... I want to know what has caused him to feel that way. You know, I know it's that it says the doctor said we came back from the war. So I mean, maybe maybe we're dealing with some PTSD stuff. You know, don't know why we didn't just go to the gym. Apparently, that helps. I personally don't agree that exercise helps, but you know. Keeps us in shape. <sighs> yeah, definitely getting feels for Sunken City here. Because at the beginning of the game of Sunken City, you do end up in a place like this. And I'm beginning to, I, like, I should probably do some research if uh, Lovecraft was, uh, lived in Boston, because every game I've played so far starts off there. Into the madness. Let's go. Going on a little boat. Well, it's kind of a big boat, but...
right, our guy just does everything, doesn't he? He smokes, he drinks, he abuses uh, medication. This is, I, this, uh, case is either gonna make this go absolutely We're goofy. almost there. You know, or set us on the straight and narrow, that's for sure. Interesting name for your ship there, bud. <laughs> Talking about the woman who whose little body got turned into like was it eight dogs? Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Staying on board. I got keys to do. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Well, apparently, whatever. Does the Hawkins case mean on. anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Hey. Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not I be know. very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay, let's go. We're going to investigate every nook and cranny in here. Right. Still run. That's awesome. So there's the harbour master. There's the uh, the pub. I have the torch. No, you're not going to give me the torch. Okay. Bit mean. I mean, it's kind of dark. Prohibition. Okay. You hear that? You bilge rats don't scare me. There's well, nothing for here either. Just now. Beat I it. You were a bilge rat, and even a a boxed limpet. You think we don't know what you're doing? Hidden in the fog. I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all. I'm I'll curious how this mistake. is going to turn out. Okay, so they're just Are having at it. Awesome. Your captain told you not to stick your noses around here again. Um. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. Okay, so but it's talking about a this fish. being a fish. You've got no idea. Don't the blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. Okay. You're not sailors. So if we it's specialize fine. in medicine, there's something coming. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. What? I didn't do nothing. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. <laughs> In any case, it's not very oh. important. I can't answer that. You can't? Why not? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. 
Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Okay. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. <laughs> You're crazy. They're cops. Yeah, they why would you put a dead like that back in Damn there? stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens mm. to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna Very get curious us in about trouble. what that is. Right, so do we want to go up there or do we want to go to the pub? I don't want to go to the bar. Sorry, I know I just asked which one should I go to, but the fact that they're telling me to go to the bar, I don't want to know. Got a little nose about. Oh, hey, bro. I'm, uh, I'm just looking around. You, you do you. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Should be given to the carrier. Okay, so we're talk we're thinking about the fishermen Broken. who are. This place seems half abandoned. Who are busy arguing down in that bit? Okay. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Basilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Right, there's that fellow. So, gonna look in here. Oh, medicine! Whoop! Made more progression. Yeah, yes! This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Except this guy's missing a leg. What a macabre souvenir. Okay. No, I can't jump down. Okay. Alright, so we don't want to talk to this fellow. Yeah, because look, he's still got a leg. So. Maybe twin brothers. Hey bro, can I, can I grab I some brought info? out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely ah. to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay. Uh, where's, the, where's the paperwork? Dude, where, where'd you put it? Oh, there. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information hidden? You know, it, it could just be... You know, they're very secretive? Maybe? Right, so we've spoken to this fella. Police are still doing their thing. Those guys are still arguing. Uh, hey, bro. Hey, guys. Uh, just uh, looking around. You do you. Let's go see if my medicine. Oh, wrong button. Ah, here we go. Pierce. Okay, so I have one point. Um. Okay, medicine and occult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Um. Oh, fuck that. Um, but surely I can put my points into it. Um. You know, I think I'll do eloquence there. Oh, fuck it, did I? Ah, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna do it there, actually, because of the pick locks. Right. Oh, what's this? Sanity. Oh, there you go. He's a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the Mis... Meuse Argonne Offensive. 
is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American units that suffered heavy, heavy losses from enemy and kill and allied artillery fire, forced to hold the position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies. Soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Okay, that's fair enough. So, what have we got? This Stephen Webster fellow. Charles Hawkins. Sarah Hawkins. Oh, she pretty. And Simon Hawkins. We're just having a look at what we got. Right, there we go. So, talk to Fitzroy. Go to the bar. Wait, does that mean I can talk to him again? Oh, secondary objective is go to the bar. So, we'll do a secondary objective first. Screw you too! Don't need to spit at me. Oh. Oops, sorry hey, I tripped. Be careful. <laughs> Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. He tripped. Yet you served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. You mistake oh, my manner. Oh, screw you. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult, if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. Did I succeed? What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. May as well speak. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Mm, good point. I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you Next tell shape. me about her? We all knew she was famous. Then... Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, Who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? Speak to him about everything just to get the... The uh, stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Right, um, return. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. 
I'll tell nobody. Fair enough. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? Mm. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Sodro drink, since he's been so nice. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? Sure. I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. We're gonna get absolutely slaughtered. I think we'll get along well. Okay, can I move? No? This will affect your destiny. There you go. That'll be all for now. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. We are given up hope. The crew of the Silla are what rains fit returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. Locals immediately rushed the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch on the brave, the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of formidable tooth whales, the Setican, that is already being called the Miraculous Catch, covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. Surviving sailors told a frightening encounter of their perilous catch but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious, nutritious benefits. There's no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of Darkwater to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which part of the island is suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Max is putting up his warehouse up for rent in June. Um, for fishing, workshop or storage activities, you can contact him via your favourite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Special evening. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with your friends to taste a miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Hmm. So, I mean. I feel like, uh, that gut's bad. Like everybody who ate it. Dudes, hi. I'm just gonna hear a wicked conversation over here. It's all good. Carry on. Oh, I'm not here. The girl doctor. Cold. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know, I know. Okay. Hey, bro. You look like a smart fella. Can hear things and voices whispering. We'll follow Me its too. leader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Scars. Hey, Alvinen. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Dude, are you, are you crazy? Just checking. Do you like our song? <laughs> I do. We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Hmm. 
What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted well, that's the stock. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from Good here see, know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't noise? believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's Why the proof? Why do you sound like Yago from Aladdin? Where's the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. How would you know it's delicious? Just because they said it was delicious. I bid you, you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I had to wing all the girly boys. I was with the men of fire. I'd leave all green flowers. Very cherry song. I see grounds for not a rise. Well, there is no. Mm. Hey, bro. You good? Yeah, you cool. Can't go through there. Hello, lady. Well, you're the only person left to talk to in here, so... What you yeah. looking at, stranger? You, apparently. I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, it was a compliment. Not judging. So what? Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Well, do you mind if you watch? I mean, you didn't specify what type of beating. Ah, rude lady. Just beat it, beat it. Do 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 From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor, the hardworking lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Hmm. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Obviously, that's kind of why you put it on stuff. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Mm. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you. But with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. 
Your father, John Fitzroy, Damn good captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Oh, I will. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures yeah. unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. No, 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 no. The trenches aren't, uh, aren't mythology there. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its it. death, at least. The miraculous uh, okay. catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I did. That's how I know about it. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Okay. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I shall be on my okay. way. So come back and see me when you've got Let's something Let's go see that... if we can find that wooden leg. That's the boat. Um, I'm sure I saw it on a wall. Wait. So stairs are over there, so it'd lead up behind here. Oh, there's the wooden leg. What a macabre souvenir. Oh, they finally moved. Oh, they've moved too. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something right, coming. So we, uh, we can go to that warehouse. I'm just going to go investigate over here first. Yeah, you because know, we're nosy that way. Who knows what we find? You saw what well. happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here yeah. unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Okay. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse okay. looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, Fair. go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. Right. Wait, why do they have a car? It's an island. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's probably, it could be a very big one, but that's a fancy bleeding car. Okay. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Also looks like there's a bunch of gas or water. A 
whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. We can gotta keep some souvenirs, I guess. That leads to there. Oh, there's a ladder. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely yeah. taken to bits. There must be some spare Same. parts amid all this clutter. There we go, let's go down. So, it looks like at some point I should be able to get through there. Whoop! This oh, handle winch. will be perfect for the winch. Okay, so why isn't it let me... I guess I'm not meant to turn it just yet. Okay, but at least it's there. You know, I don't have to worry about going and grab it later. Okay, so we've done this for whatever reason. Right. Nope, nothing? Okay. Let's go sneak past where the coppers were. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in oh. the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Oh, look, little crabs. Hi, bro. You, you, you seem to be having a jolly time fishing. Catch anything? Right. Oh, random language. Okay. Saint Brendan, the navigator. Must have been like eighty or ninety, I think. No. Hmm. Oh. Yep, we're gonna pick locks. Damnation! Did we do it? I broke it. Okay, so not too good there. We need to improve our investigation. Can't get up? No? Oh, okay. Fine. Wait, have I got any? I got one. Awesome. Right, let's see if I can go do it now. Oh, okay, that was lean. I went to automatically press the run button. Yeah. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Why not? Why won't you let me go? Like, do, do I have a limited amount of picklocks? Or picks, sorry? I can always shoot it. Hey, guys. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. What? I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. I don't believe St. Brendan is a god. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? 
Um... That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down okay. at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. No. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes This is why I don't them. talk to drunk people. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Fair enough. Isn't that a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Right. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would hey, kill what each do you other. Do to drunken sailor? Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Hold, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. You're drunk, dudes. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Okay, have fun. On, you you do you. Us. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hid them somewhere in your hut on the docks. Not even. And how could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Nah. Hey, uh, hey guys, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna go over here. So, we've gone everywhere. I apparently can't get into that stupid little hut over there. Let's give it one more shot, though. Alright, dude. Yeah, all good. Awesome. It's no use. One, like, let me Padlock won't this. give. Like, I'm uncertain if I have a limited amount of lockpicks or whether that was meant to fail. Hey, bro. Where you do you important? think you're going? Um. Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Investigating? What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? The badge? Exactly. <laughs> apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay, spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. There are sailors awesome. who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. And then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. That's fine. Hmm. Right, I think maybe now I can use that warehouse to find the winch for. <laughs> oh, there is.
Wait, maybe I gotta go speak to those two guys. Speak to him, see what they got to say. Who's this guy? No idea. You bet. What's with you hey wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking no, to I'm the friendly. two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Excuse you. Gentlemen, you have a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it! You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. <laughs> Prove that you really know, Cat. Hmm. It's risky yeah. to question my word. I wouldn't like you to get cut with a certain Italian knife. Okay, okay. You've convinced us. And is she who sent you? What do you want from us? I have to take a look inside the Hawkins warehouse. Leave me alone, and I'll put in a good word for you with Cap. Um, okay. It's a deal. Awesome. Anything back here? No. Oh, that that is broke. Oh, pardon me. Okay, then let's go. Let's in. see. Okay, yeah, so it looks like if you fail it once, it won't let you do it again. Perfect. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Hot Sarah chocolate. Hawkins case? Okay. Reconstruction scene. Okay, Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Nope. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Oh. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Um, probably. Hmm, good question. Before or after? I'm gonna say after because they wouldn't have bled like that. I think if they were covered. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins death. It smells as bad as it looks. Just making sure I got everything before I come out of it. Okay, I got a character point. Woohoo! Nothing? Oh, what's this? Oh, I can crouch, that's right. Oh, the Hawkins. What's this? I'd select it, so. Oh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is. Has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. 
Is there anyone hey, bro. in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce. I told you to stay away from hey. this warehouse. I'm busy. Um. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> sure. I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Oh, yours is the fancy Andrews, car? Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. I'm just that good, that's all. God damn it. Her again. Hey, lady. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. Look, we'll there's no again. other gang on the island. There is no such thing as a turf. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? No. Oh, yeah. That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Awesome. Let's go. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. That's nice of him. Mm. Now we're going up to the creepy house on the hill, because who doesn't want to do that? Do, do. Let's go. Question how the officer there got that scar on his face. Oh, we know something's up. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough Who's as Silas? it is. Silas. 
Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I have other questions. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working oh, for the Hawkins go. family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Let me ask questions. Stop being so grumpy about it. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains Wait, to be seen what they did that? with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I still have questions. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Okay. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, mm. if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? See. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or... If there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I mean, fair dues, he seems to be a decentish copper. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Okay. Um. Why not? Sure. You can help. Right. Let's go. I feel like I probably shouldn't, actually. Got a bad feeling about bringing him with me. Let's go check out over here first. Right, he's toddling off down there, so I guess I gotta go down that way. Um, right, let's see what we got here. Nice lighthouse. Chair in the middle of nowhere. Recently fallen. Of course there's a tree. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Oh, please, realistically, we would totally climb that. Ooh. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Built by a reverend, you know? These religious people building stuff everywhere. Right, he's over there. So I'm gonna go up here. Well, actually, I think that's where I'm kind of meant to go. Okay, we're gonna visit the graves. Poor kid. 11 years old. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, why did he break the vases? Gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to mm. the mansion. 
I mean, it's a family home. Why would he not want to be buried Please here? Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the bear. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Right, so the fresh here, his are broke, and the kids seem fine. The caretaker takes great care of these graves. Okay, so we'll leave him do his pay and respects thing. We're gonna head up to the house. Yeah, we got stuff to do. Okay, so... Front door looks kinda locked. You know, just a drop. I'll have to uh, find another entrance. No kidding. I mean, we could probably squeeze through. a lot of tables and chairs. Were they used to having like huge parties or something? This entrance is still in use. I don't want to use it yet. I'm still investigating. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying hey, to buddy. force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir. All right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We got them! Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh, uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Rather you don't. You can ask Officer Bradley if it's true. He's right behind me. Paying his respect to the Hawkins family graves. Bradley? Uh, a good guy. Not as dumb as you think. Ah, uh, that's right. He'll tell you that we're working together. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Why didn't you barricade it as well then? The sooner I carry out my investigation, the sooner I wrap up the case and return to Boston. After which, you'll never hear of me again. Huh. I like the sound of that, but I have a better idea. You leave right now, and you never come back. Silas! Pierce! In God's name, what are you doing? Officer Bradley, this hood was trying to break into the mansion. Do something, Bradley. Or this story will have a nasty ending. I vouch for him, Silas. He's working with us. We have reason to believe that someone entered the mansion and stole some paintings. Impossible. Mm -hmm. I would have seen it. Better safe than sorry. Now let us in. I promise to keep an eye on this one. Hmm. Okay, then. I'll leave the key with you. You could have told me that earlier, Sonny. Let's see what more Tried. I can learn from this mansion. Try to tell you a lot of stuff at once. Alright, is there a little nose down here? I mean, I was just trying to stop the guy from, like, you know, chopping me in pieces. God, how many axes has this guy got floating about the place? He's old and one. He's got another chopping block down here. And... Okay. So I'm 
guessing I normally wouldn't be able to go through the uh, front door or something. Okay, so am I meant to grab that then later on? I guess so. Okay then. The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. Hmm. Guess we're not going in that way. Hmm. So I'm guessing we come back later. So I'm not gonna lie, my first playthrough, I didn't really spend much time investigating like this. You know, this whole sort of scene made me uncomfortable. Yes. Shall we enter? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Piers and, Offic Piers and Officer Bradley explored the garden of the Hawkins Mansion. Homie lies in the graveyard of the property guarded by Silas Winchester. The old caretaker, still faithful to his employers, keep watch on the place, armed with his axe. Pearson and Bradley manage to calm him down and finally get hold of the key to the Hawkins mansion. They enter the building, looking for the scene of the fire. Hmm. I mean... It was slightly charred, but the whole... They, it, it was quickly contained, the fire was, so... I feel like we're missing something. Especially if the house looks as up to, upkept like that, you know? Obviously it didn't reach the library. Do, do, do. Follow me. I know the place. I don't want to follow. Who left this light on? No, I'm not around. You do you, bro. I'm gonna nose. The last supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell lighter. me? God, it looks tiny. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. No, I'm not reconstructing yet. Look, why, why didn't Winchester come clean it up? Oh, fine, this. Dishes. What kind of meat is this? The fishy kind. You're in a whaling uh, town. What do you think it is? This place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. He seems very aggroed. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Oh, yep. Yeah. So he smashed that. Dad got mad. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Got Something like happened to this fish. Table. An argument? Let's see if I'm missing anything before I drop out of it. Okay. I mean, 
Every, every family has an argument. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Okay. We light the fire. Yeah, make it nice and toasty. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. Pinch your ear. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, we'll leave him in there for a second. Charles and Sarah's wedding is painted by Sarah herself. Charles and Sarah's wedding is painted by Sarah herself. Too much rubble. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Poses like an explorer in front of exotic ruins. I'm sorry, but that's Egypt. <laughs> it's common knowledge that he wanted to. He wasted away his fortune on expensive trips. What was he looking for? So, let's see what points we've got here to spend. We've got four. Okay, so. Two, one, two. Um. Two, there we go. Should probably put more into occultism, actually. Sorry guys, I really hate exclamation marks on points. Right then. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Let's have a look without dropping into it first. Nothing. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? If the painting I found we on the docks us. really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Magic. They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Well, that's generally how they uh, make these things work. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Good question. Oh, hello. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? He pushed her? Did someone escape the fire? Looks like the husband. So, he'd been drinking, they got into a fight. He smacked her and she fell onto the table. I don't know how the kid got on the floor though. And I'm gonna bet that the husband ran. was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Missing a table leg. Like. Fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. So, I'm going to make a bet that Wifey threw that lamp as uh, defensive. And the boy. So, Detective, what do you make of it? I 
I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Hmm. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Yeah, ask the dead people. That's one way to be sure. So, we've finished checking that place out. What's that? Cool. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. That's fine, boy. This door is locked. Oop! Medicine! Lots of creepy noises, of course. These bandages are covered in dried blood, but whose? So the person who escaped the, well, we're obviously we're going to assume it's Mr. Charles, or whatever hubby's name is, because it seemed like he was the one set on fire and was running. So I think it's safe to say that, uh, you know, he bandaged himself up. So, copper went over there. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. Which we knew anyway, because... The lyrics of the drunken sailor. A sea shanty. Creepy freaking house, though. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. This is a lot of books. I feel like these, this is very disrespectful. They should be on the shelves. Nice and tidy. Plenty of room. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Of course. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Looks like it'd be pretty, though, if it was upkept. Check upstairs. I don't know what the copper's doing, I'm doing my own thing. <sighs> Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Actually, I believe Hecate is the one who uh, turned Scylla into the many-headed dog lady. Them. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. Right, so we could go over there where I saw. Let's go check this door first. Nothing. Okay. 
I don't know why my light keeps dipping by there. I think it's probably just a glitch in the graphics. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Yeah, what were their names, though? I'm betting one of those families was Hawkins. So we're upstairs. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Yes, sir. As you know, I've always told, held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the character of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to reoccur, believe me, that although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Weller. Curious. Oh, maybe she was seeing visions of them. And of course, you know, as seems to be the case with a lot of people, they seem unable to keep them inside. So they sort of speak them, didn't they? So maybe she's terrifying them because of that. Oh! Oh, what's... blood? Locked. Of course it's locked. Why would a house that's been on fire not have locked door? Oh. Kids room. Yeah, not creepy at all. The boys were. Nice Let's see. So. Oh, okay, he's been seeing stuff. A child's fort. Threat was Simon protecting his world. Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Can I like select the pictures now? No, I gotta do this in order. Okay. Sleeping pills. Strong for an eleven year old boy. What was wrong with they this family? They slept What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Oh, well, maybe he had to have the sleep. Simon's system. troubles I mean, went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Uh, yeah. So, okay, maybe they didn't drug him. Maybe it was actually... For a reason. Oh, where's the paintings gone? Bitches. So it seems like the boy had the same skill as his mom. This is a lot of canvases. Now I paint. Oh. Cool. I like this. Uh, up I like the whole upgrading my hidden things. Uh. What will her room reveal about her? Uh, skill. It's helping me find stuff much easier. I mean, I know that's kind of the point, but... Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Hmm. A barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. Every four to six hours is required. If attacks become too violent, add 25 milligrams of something up to three times a day. Do not consume alcohol or any other medication during the period of treatment. That's a massive dose. Was Sarah violent? See if we can't not pick this bugger. Perfect. Whoop. Go us. Oh, yeah, this isn't concerning. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved Fate each other. brought us together, and forever it will be us. 
This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Wow, she sold them for good, for good amounts. This FS is, he's got an exhibition completely for her. Only one of them was returned. The AD person. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sanders has a lot of her work. Totally could just open the door with a key. Nah, we're gonna, we're gonna lock pick that one over there. I guess it's in case you don't find it. Oh, that's right, I gotta do the reconstruction thing in here, aren't I? Oh, wait, it says I've gotta find stuff. Hmm. Oh, here we go. So if you notice in the bottom left we've got a little exclamation mark that means there's stuff to find. And if it's got the tick it means we found it all. Is that blood? Are they scratches? I'm because they were in the art room just then. Don't get me wrong, when I paint I leave paint everywhere. This door is locked. Yeah. But that seems a bit odd. Yo, where's the copper? Where's the policeman? Hey up, bro. What's his name? I can't remember his name. Copper! Oh, there you are. What do you know hey, about bro. Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Right, so I just have knocked some of these things. Um. Okay, so I can't actually add to it. Um... Didn't I think? These are all the clues. Right, let's go see if we can find anything else. Did you hear that? No. What did you hear? Let's see if we can go that way. You get out of breath after sprinting for a while. Maybe that's what the dimming of lights is. So. Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I'm not liking the creaking of this house. Oh, there you go, that's fine. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Maybe that's why all her paintings are weird. I mean, that's kind of a weird sketch. Bradley? Is that you? No? Dude? Now this door was locked. Is anyone there? Oh yeah, we take that lantern.
wait, that's us. She painted us? Oh. You! Come Stop. back here! Can I jump? Yep. Where'd he go? Bradley, oh. did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding Is on the upper here? level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Run off with another painting. I'm gonna go back upstairs. I wanna see what it's. An original happen. edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Because he was clearly holding something. I mean, fair to is brave coming up here on their own. God, that's a mess, though. Oh, it's painful to see. Why have so many blasted easels, though? Oh, you're only working on one. Okay, so nothing. Oh, yeah. Why? Excuse me. You let me jump just a minute ago. Didn't realize that stops you from freaking being able to do it again. I'll Come cover on in, Bradley. You. Let's go. Why would I want to swap back to my lighter if I got a huge freaking lantern? This door was closed earlier. Yeah, it was, because this is the other side. Dude, we couldn't even get through here. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. Behind there. No, no, he was that here. That looks far too clean. I'm sure. Let's search this room. Really stands out. Don't know about you a lot. This globe seems to have been okay. part of some mechanism. Oh. Okay, yeah, well, let's leave that for a moment. Hmm. Doesn't work. Seems like this came from a log. said Norfolk morning Captain Hamilton is confident he says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season may God be merciful heard it when the whales disappeared for a trace with these carcasses we can no longer ignore their sad fate what is eating these huge beasts told Hamilton that it would be it was a bad omen he doesn't care drop drank in your village um let's see This Dr. Fuller, was he Sarah Hawkins' therapist? Charles, I understand your worries, but I assure you that Sarah is in good hands here at the Riverside Institute. Goes without saying that her state requires very specific care and a high level of attention. Her full potential will only be able to express itself if she is placed in a secure environment and surrounded by qualified staff. The decision is yours, of course, but I seem to understand that you are running out of time. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. It looks like an old seaway map. 33 north, 53 west. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. 
Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Yeah, that third man. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. Oh, so my lamp actually needs oil. Okay. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. The Scylla. It's the... This panel is movable. Cogwheels. Oop. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret okay. passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Let's try it. Great. I managed to force the gears. Looks like I've triggered something. Well done, Pierce. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Okay, so that's what it's done. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. So this is what you'd normally use that for, I guess. 53 and 33, etc. Down into the depths we go. Inside the Hawkins mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secret. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken to search the place looking for proof. When a hooded man leaped, I'm sure that's meant to be leapt, into Sarah, Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal painting, Detective and police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley enter the tunnel underneath under the mansion. But wait, so why did they why do they have a grave for Charles Hawkins then? Because we're guessing that this survivor is Charles Hawkins. So why does he have a grave? You would have thought that they would have found the body to bury it. Because, I mean, oh, like he could just be some rando uh, thief after paintings, you know, because her stuff is worth the fortune. Well, I mean, you saw how much her log sold it before. And now that she's dead, her stuff is going to be worth more. Um, but for now, I think uh, I'm going to leave this video here just before we start Chapter 4. Um, oh, flip. Um, so yeah, all in all, not a bad little game so far. I think we're getting the knack of how to investigate, find clues and the like. Finding bits and pieces here, there and everywhere. Busy uncovering all these secrets. Lovecraft does do good with the secrets, of course. Um, but, you know, we all know it comes down to Cthulhu in the end. Just curious to see how. Um... But, um, yeah, let's see if we can get to the end of this without our fellow becoming absolutely loopy. Um, yeah, so hopefully if you, you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, do the whole like and subscribe. And hopefully you guys will be around for the, uh, the next video, which, you know, I'm going to complete, I'm going to continue with this one. You know, keep it going for our Shocktober event. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next video.